YouTube, how you guys doing? Today, I got literally the best AR right now in the game. For long range engagements, that is. This video is about the Krig. This thing is dirty. Like you thought the M16 was bad and the AUG was bad? Oh, this thing's got nothing. They got nothing on this gun. This thing is straight heat, like you'll see in the gameplay. Let's break down the attachments real quick. So you're gonna run the fill agent grip for the best amount of recoil control. 60 round mag because the salvo mag still provides too much of an ADS speed. ADS speed penalty, that's just not worth it. 3X or 2X, personal preference, I use 3X. With this reticle, the precision reticle, it just makes it so clean. Or, or the default, those two are guaranteed to be non-blurry. A lot of the other ones are pretty blurry. Agency suppressor for obvious reasons, because you want to see off the map. And the ranger barrel or the takedown barrel. You can use them pretty interchangeably. I prefer the ranger barrel because I prefer guns with higher bullet velocity. But let's talk about what we're going to run with it. We're going to run a, my favorite SMG right now, the LC-10. With the LC-10's buff in this last, pa last patch, oh my god, this thing shreds. For the attachments, fill agent grip, no stock, 55 round mag, task force barrel, agency suppressor. Not going to go into it too much. Task force, you want to use it right now. It's the best barrel on S for SMGs and short range weapons. Let's go jump into the recoil test and show you guys what it's all about. Welcome back to the no BS recoil test. Today, we're going to check out the recoil pattern of the Krig 6 and the LC-10. My favorite loadout right now in Season 3. Let's jump in and do the Krig 6. Mm. Look at that gorgeous recoil pattern. So easy to control. Watch this. Annoying people. Let's control this recoil pattern real quick for you guys. Look at how easy that is to control. Look how tight that is. You're going to hit any beam you want. Seriously. Now let me show you the LC-10. We're going to move up a little closer because that's what you do with an SMG. Also, don't mind this dead body. Some kid tried to chow me. Didn't end well. All right, let's check out the LC-10's recoil pattern. Not a bad recoil pattern, in my opinion. Now let's uh, straighten it out and control this beautiful mug. See, even at a pretty decent range, this gun is pretty easy to control. Let's jump into some stats and show you guys how these guns compare. Let's check out the stats of these guns and see how the Krig 6 compares to the other two most popular ARs, in my opinion at least. The Ram 7 and the Amax. The Amax is by far the better, same with the Ram. However, the main kicker is, is the recoil. We all know how we all know how wonky the Ram 7's recoil is, with it going basically right at a 45 degree angle, off into God knows where. And then the Amax with the weird snaky thing that cuts off to the left or right. I think it's left at that 45 degree angle. Overall, the recoil patterns are significantly harder to control than the Krig. I think you can just look at the Krig and see how it's so close to punt, to trading punches with these other gun with these other guns, and you can realize that. With all these extra shots that you're hitting, also with the given buffs that was given in the last patch that I don't think is reflected right now in this uh, data set, the gun is insane. Let me just show you how dominant it is, and I'll kick you over to some gameplay and let you watch it. Be marked. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Ben. C'est lourd, man. Un petit truc genre de crisser mon. I'm taking fire!
plus. So now you guys have actually seen the gameplay of the gun. What do you guys think? Think it's as good as I said it is? I think it's pretty good. Let's break down the class one more time for you guys before I push you guys out. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my TikTok. Check it out. Okay, for the Craig, we're running the Agency Suppressor, Ranger Suppressor, or Takedown Barrel. User preference, I prefer the Ranger. 3X zoom, 60 round mag, and the field agent grip. For the LC-10, we got the Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, field agent grip, 55 round mag, and no stock, or Raider pad, depending on which one you prefer. I prefer the slower aim down sight speed that comes with the no stock attachment. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If there's any other guns you guys want, let me know. And guys, as always, we'll see you fudging later.